106 of the BT cast. Yeah, it's again Wednesday, and it's again in before criteria, because, oh well, yeah, uh, I wasn't home on Monday, basically, I just w came back, basically. Um, so yeah, I needed to take care of some stuff, and then, you know, yesterday I had to go for all the tracks I wanted to play, and yeah, let's have some fun tonight. First track I'm going to play is the track called Kasim, uh, sorry, Shine On Me, and it's by Kasim. That's out on Glasgow Underground. And yeah, let's get get it on, get on the way with a, a rather techy tool, I would say. Hope some of you will join for a bit of, yeah, as I already mentioned in the title, new disco, new Tom Star, new criteria. That's why the Tom Star and Cry that you heard tonight. It's not for for any like like reason. Like for no no reason that like in that sense. So that some of you will join. Yeah. So and I'll share this well on Twitter. Yeah, very cool tool here. I like you know this kind of stuff as well. Yeah, I love the kick there. Very nice. Luis is already watching, aka Steve, thank you so much for joining. Steve. Um, yeah, so uh, it's gonna be again, I believe, a very wild mix of uh, first techno, and then we'll head over to this disco thing that you know was so uh, was so cool over the last couple days. Um, like the releases are amazing this week, so that's why I wanted actually to you know, really go through all the uh, for all the tracks I wanted to play because I still haven't gone through all of them, but I got enough that I can do a busy cast. So actually, I'm very happy for the releases. Tom is also watching. Thank you so much for joining. Hope that you're enjoying it so far. And yeah, let me just quickly share it on, uh, on Twitter. Because they don't see it. <laughs> because I don't actually want to wanna have like a third device to stream on the Periscope. That would be a bit too much for me. Yeah, so this is the track uh, Kasim with... Uh, oh, sorry, the producer Kasim with Shine On Me. And yeah, unfortunately, I haven't prepared the, uh, li the list with the links. I only have the Spotify playlist tonight because, well, I was out of time and I wanted to go um, to go live. Yeah, do, do you know this vocal, Luis? Yeah. I love the breakdown. Very cool. Look who's watching. This is in future honor. Still young. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Can't wait for new music by you because it's been really a while since uh, the release of Size this year. But you know, you're working differently and that's fine. Um, yeah. So I need again, like, to go through, like... Yeah, so the build-up is also very nice here. Um, slow, but really gets to the point. Yeah, sorry if it's actually gonna take a bit longer tonight, but unfortunately I didn't have time to, to prepare the links. Which, you know, makes me mad, but you know... I prefer, you know, to, to be live, to talk about it, and uh, and you can hear the, you can listen to to the music. Meanwhile, so yeah, that's the track. And yeah, I got um, uh, yeah. Um, do you know like the, the, this track, or do you mean the sample? Because um, I mean, I I heard this uh, in in several like I unfortunately didn't have time to do research on it. Usually I do that for busy cast, but yeah, this week was very stressful because of the weekend with, with the um, wedding I was, and yeah, because I, I know it on, on one sample I believe um, that was that was played earlier, or like like that was a, um, a release earlier this year or last year, yeah, but yeah, very nice vocal, and yeah, the sample. Okay, I would have to take a look on who sampled. Actually, who, who, what the original is, or if you know, just write, write in the comments. Yeah, so that's that. Casting with Shanami up next. Um, yeah, yeah, I know it. Yeah, deep in my soul, deep in my soul. There, there, yeah. I believe there was even a, a release on Susumi about it, maybe. Can't remember, or maybe it was a different song. But some, I, I heard the sample already a couple of times, that's for sure. Yeah, up next, a good friend of mine from Peru, Sunday Noise. Together with Danon on the track called Locura. Yeah. So it goes now like for the for the beginning in a rather deeper direction, but still very tacky, very danceable. So yeah, let's check it out. 
Yeah, and it's, uh, as always, I'm dropping the links for uh, this, like the uh, Spotify uh, links. And yeah, and at the end of the show and afterwards, of course, as always, I'm dropping the um, um, I'm dropping the link to the whole playlist as well. So yeah. It's really, it actually hurts me a bit that I didn't prepare that, but yeah, let's focus more on the music in that case. Yeah, David is watching, thank you so much for joining. Hope you're having a great week so far. Can't wait for ADE. It's coming closer and closer. And Toll also liked, thank you so much for joining and for liking. Yeah. That's like a mix of, you know, like, uh, Melodic house, tech house, deep house, stuff in between there, which which is very nice. So uh, I really I really like uh, Alejandro's um, uh, Alejandro's music, and so because I really it's, it's, it's good for Alejandro, I believe. Mm. Yeah, this is out of Bibliotech Records, as far as I'm concerned. On this, on the like this EP, yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of the label, usually a bit too deep stuff on it, but um, I'll play also the, uh, up next the uh, new Sapchek one, where he really has some tech influences and Sapchek's a very amazing man, so I um, had a talk, you know, during ADE with him, it's so cool, so down to earth. Yeah. So that's Sunny Noise and Dano with Lokura, very nice uh, sample chop here. And also he plays around the vocal very much, so yeah, very creative as well. So they really took the time to really, you know, um, take an effort into this track. Very cool. So definitely um, feel free to watch, uh, like, to listen to the whole EP, uh, like this EP, out on Deeper Tech Records. Yeah, tell me where you're from, where you're watching, and tell me what you like about it, what you feel about the tracks so far. And as I already mentioned, up next. Sapjack together with his buddy Falberg Westland. Yeah. It's also a great one. Anthony Bolt also liked it. Thank you very much. Very nice one. Very cool. For both like the deeper styles and both like um, also the warm-up. Very cool. So yeah, it's definitely very nice. Yeah, Westland is also a very nice one. So yeah, but of course later on I'll also play the one that I wrote that wrote up, you know, in the title. So definitely stay tuned for these ones. For new, uh, for new disco, for the new Tom Star, two new Tom Stars actually, and uh, and yeah, and um, yeah, two two new by Tom Star, the new one on Susumi. So definitely, uh, sorry, for, on Criteria, but Susumi will be also back. So yeah. Not to not to be missed. Can't wait for the new Susumi releases. Because as I've, I've told actually the community a couple of times that I was not a huge fan when um, uh, Susumi was discontinued because it had a huge fan base and I'm so happy it's back. Um, yeah, Luis, that's very nice to um, to hear. Olinda is also in. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, and yeah, um, so uh, yeah, can't wait to to actually hear some some first um, kind of samples, or um, yeah, some first previews. Would really like to to know what you're working on, and uh, yeah, and yeah, maybe maybe you're gonna be the next release on um, on um, uh, on release deep. Because so far it's been only one release, so the one. Um, and the one by BK and Walden. Yeah. And hope to see you there soon on release records as well. So yeah, it will be very interesting how this like label in which direction this label will go then. Yeah, so as I mentioned, up next Sebjak uh, Sebjak and uh or oh, Sebjak, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> and Fallberg on Veslan. Not a bit deeper cut here. But very creative in the leads and everything. So you know, sometimes I also enjoy it. Like it's very fascinating. I didn't really enjoy the music so much. A couple of months or even like, 
one or two years back. But now I start liking it. So either they get more creative or I get, you know, just a bit calmer with the with the age. So I'm turning uh, I'm turning 27 this year in actually during AD on Sunday. <laughs> so yeah. So I might as well be the happy. Yeah. So let's wait for a drop. Very cool sounds. So you have like a mix of this. Whatever that is in the background, there's some percussion that actually kind of makes up the lead, but it's very tough to identify for me. Yeah. But yeah, they're really tough to time. So tell me what you think about this, because I'm interested. Yeah. And they, they kind of, also there are some progressive elements in there, so there's one um, element following the other gets, that gets layered, so very nice here. So maybe, maybe that was also the reason why I liked it because, uh, in, in, like, uh, initially, because I felt like kind of a progressive, you know, um, feeling behind it. And the drop goes also for, uh, yeah, one minute and forty-five seconds, which is very nice. Nowadays, it's very unusual. So yeah, but later then, after um, after um, the disco section, the Cried out from star section or like criteria from star section. I will also play um, some real progressive. Um, thanks a lot, Luis. Uh, I'll give it a listen and give you some feedback. Always, you know, always welcome. So maybe um, I'm forgetting to say this, but um, your music is like always welcome. I love to review stuff that I haven't heard yet, but I would prefer a, um, a rather finished track or let's say. 80-90% finished, so I have like kind of pick, kind of make make myself a picture, kind of um, of um, of the track, how it sounds like, how the vibe is set. Because you know, if you send me only the drop or the build up, you know, that's very. Um, I cannot give you proper feedback on that because I I see the tracks more in a rather wider context, so like the whole context of the of the track. So everything has worked together, both the, the build up and the and the drop and the breakdown. So everything has to be kind of set. Yeah, but very nice one here by Sapjack and Paul Beck Veslan. A bit deeper cut, but still very nice. Great production as well. Yeah, yeah, Luis, uh, thank you very much. Um, but you know, I was talking about like general. Um, if someone's interested, and also because some people are also watching on YouTube later than. Um, after I upload that, so yeah. Uh, what else do I have here? I have to track Sinner, but oh, yeah, I have to track Sinner. So we're changing the uh, sound a bit now. So that was rather the deeper, techier cut uh, that I usually start with because I believe it's a very nice uh, way to, to get into to the beat cast. And yeah, up next we are having uh, yeah, the already mentioned uh, track. Sinner and it's by Ayua. So this is one of the three tracks I believe that were released this week or like I believe last Friday on um, on X-Tone and uh, Yeah, so this is now a bit of a change of, uh, of, of the sound because we're getting more into like Electronica, Gesafferstein, these kind of guys uh, Yeah, if you're not just watching, thank you very much for joining over on Instagram. Hope that you're enjoying it now with Ayua and Sinner so yeah, great work by the guys there. Yeah. So we're just going to check them. Are you music? Yeah, I like the Pride shirt. Thank you very much. Yeah, Criteria is coming up later in a few minutes. So and that's Ayo with Sinner. Uh, it has a kind of a Gesafferstein vibe, and I really enjoyed. Uh, that kind of music, because I believe uh, uh, Gesafferstein's Pursuit is kind of also a, a track like, I don't know, Epic, or, um, uh, or, what was it like, um, or Rock the Party by um, Joel's and Epworth, that really kind of uh, was genre-defining, I would say. And, um, yeah, and so everybody's kind of going into this way then, you know, they're going in like direction like this track. You can hear it there. You know, it's still kind of fall to the floor because I believe, I guess, yeah, because it's also fall to the floor, but a bit faster, I believe. But yeah, great work here by the guys. 
So sometimes I also like to listen to this kind of music to also mix it up a bit. Usually I'm, I'm a fan of Fall to the Floor, but sometimes, you know, it's also cool to, to uh, listen to that kind of music. Also the second drop is very nice. It goes only with the basically bass like kick and very clicky actually. So it sounds a bit like a Swedish house might be kick but like 110 BPM or so. So yeah, very slow, but yeah. Great effort here. So very creative in the sound design and uh, they really took an effort to get this done. And the vocal is also very interesting. A bit down pitched. Not a huge fan of that, but it's it's still fine here. Yeah, this part is absolutely my favorite. Really head banging. You can almost rap on it. It's fascinating to me. So that's that, I with Sinner, out now on X-Tone, a very unusual sound for X-Tone. They have also two other tracks that are fall to the floor, but they actually don't wanna, don't wanna, uh, do not really like, um, convince me as much, so they wanted to leave it by that, or on that. Yeah, and up next, um, I'm gonna track that I got sent, so very, always thankful for all the music that you get me, or that you send me. Uh, but I will play here something a bit different, I believe, that is not on Spotify, a different version of the track. So let me just um, uh, get a look for it. Uh, Alan is also watching, thank you very much for joining. So yeah, thanks for the like as well, hope you're enjoying it. Um, we will later. Yeah. So the next track is by my good friend Matthias D. Uh, from France. And he teamed up with Kane Sonder. And I don't really want to want to tag him here, and um, so that he sees that I that I play his music. This is very important nowadays. Um, and he will have Kane uh, Sonda. He has only four hundred fifty likes, so definitely support him with their track "Lift" in the alternative mix. But uh, I will, I believe, on Spotify there's only the original. But yeah, uh, this one really is cool, so it goes again into this uh, rather uh, deeper direction. But I actually wanted to play this like as a freebie here. A TSD and Kane Solder with Lift, the alternative mix. So yeah, definitely go check these guys out, doing fantastic music. This is out on Code Rat. Yeah, Froggy Man's also watching, thank you very much guys for joining. Just in time, basically, almost, for Progressive, later then. A fantastic release by two guys from Russia. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Very fantastic mix of prog and um, like deep and um, tech here by Matthias D and Kane Sonda with Lift in the alternative mix as a freebie here. So thank you very much for this for this one, Matthias. And uh, yeah, very cool mix here. I love the like the guitar there in the background. It sounds very fascinating and also like with the deepish bass lines fits very well. Absolutely cool track. So, yeah. So up next, now it's time for Criteria. So but I want actually to moderate a bit differently here. Maybe I just play a bit of the um, breakdown here of uh, this track, Lift, the alternative mix. So definitely check this one out. It's very, very nice. Absolutely cool. So thank you very much for this one, Mr. Dimas, for sending. And yeah, up next, into the Criteria release. So, that's that. Okay. So yeah. Um, good. So up next, as I've already mentioned, uh, the new release on Criteria Records, the track is called Take It, Take it and it's by uh, Difio. Or the feel, uh, and yeah, guy from Italy, as far as I remember, and uh, yeah, let's give it a listen. Um, yeah, it's been a while yeah, since Wreck, so I believe it's been again, I believe, two months since the last release of Criteria, um, or even longer. Yes, I can't even remember, but I I like Wreck a lot, so it was certainly one of my favorites for for weeks. So and there we go, the new one by the uh, feel called. Take it. The new one on Criteria. 
So we so actually, as I've already mentioned a couple of times, I'm playing almost um, always the extended mix, just for you know also having a bit of a bit more time, kind of react to the music, um, and also to kind of um, kind of give it you know proper feedback because uh, the extended mix for me is like the original, so really like that you really want to. Um, listen in full and uh, you, that you can also mix and I believe it's also the better mixed one usually because we heard already very often that um, for Spotify you've mixed the, 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 the track differently so it sounds um, better, louder, whatever yeah. the vocal is fine um, but we'll hear later that it doesn't really fit 100% into the drop, but let's check the drop first, because this one is a very nice one. Chill, but still progressive. Da, 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 da. And I love the melody on, on, on the drop. So usually, you know, it's not to be, you know, there, um, a melody is actually very important in a drop, so, you know, the synth doesn't sound uh, 100% uh, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, loud or creative or you know, I mean like it's still a bit creative I believe but the melody really makes up you know the the synth here so um, so the synth maybe the, you know um, I won't memorize it for a long time but the melody maybe so da, 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 da. The melody is really kept simple and the synth as well but that actually makes up you know that combo that gets the track where it should be and I believe, you know, that Chris um, liked very much, you know, the mix of the vocal and the... It's very minimalistic soon, for, uh, actually, for that kind of music, so that's why he maybe signed it to Criteria. I mean, I can only speculate, but I know Chris for a long, long time already, and... Kind of, I hope I know what he likes uh, for Criteria. Because we're having, we're having uh, like, a bunch of tracks already, like, that we can select from. We have the compilations, like, actually... You, Four, four compilations basically, so we kind of know what the sound of criteria is like. So, yeah. mm. very nice take here. Very dimension. So we have it. Uh, so the track goes for five and a half minutes. Uh, we have a very long first drop at one and a half minutes, which is a rare nowadays, as I mentioned. And then we're having the uh, vocal that goes basically for the whole track. It like, kind of gets, gets it, you know, like a bit of a nostalgic, melancholic feeling. But he builds up very slow, very quickly again into the drop with the uh, fade in, like fade in of the synth. And we're having it here again. So the track is very fine for criteria. I don't have like the euphoric feeling as I had in um, uh, the Cube Guys Wreck track, but. It's still, it's still very enjoyable to listen to, and uh, you know it's not as progressive, you know, like for, when it's about the elements, because Reg was rather like a tech track, I would say, that has you know some very nice percussive elements uh, to it. This one is more based, you know, like or worked around the vocal, which is fine. Uh, it's actually a good idea. Many tracks goes like this nowadays. Uh, it's just maybe not my preferable way. I prefer more like the instruments than the than the vocal. Uh, I say it's very also tough like, to understand the vocal as well, so um, yeah. But it like it fits very well into the vibe of the of the drop and everything. So yeah. So when it's about the track itself, great job, fantastic. Not 100% my cup of tea, but still fine, enjoyable. I can listen to that, no problem. I can enjoy it. So yeah. But I'm waiting for more criteria and especially for more Susumi stuff because as criteria as cried announced. Um, uh, three weeks ago, out on Criteria 200, he's going to reactivate uh, Susumi Records that he um, uh, that he discontinued like oh my goodness last year, I believe. It's already a year ago. Yeah, over a year ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope that there are gonna be more releases now on Susumi and uh, yeah, and some more tools there. Just as, just as it, as it was before because it was very fine. So yeah, I uh, can't wait. And this is the video with uh, Take It. Hope that you enjoyed this kind of review. Yeah, and let's see what the future holds for Cryder, Criteria and Susumi Records.
yeah, and by the way, uh, speaking of my t-shirt at the back here, I have like this huge Susumi uh, logo that is uh, now again, you know, um, uh, well, um, up to date basically because uh, there's more Susumi coming, so can't wait for that. Yeah, so that was a review of um, the video with Take It, or rather, you know, had some... Um, I need actually to, to, to like cut now because I want to cut it for YouTube. Um, up next, um, there, yeah, let's uh, head over to, um, to, to the tracks by uh, Tom Star. So we have two new Tom Star releases. Uh, by the way, um, huge congrats, uh, something more, a bit more personal, um, to uh, his, um, his daughter, Atari, that um, as I've seen on um, uh, Mirella's, his wife's Instagram uh, story, that um, she's going into a new school now. So yeah, all the best for Atari, uh, his daughter. Very cute. Um, always watching you know, stories of Tom and Mirella. Uh, you would know. And you know, all the best for the um, um, for I believe his son as well. So you know, one's also son. Because I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't have like the, the, the name in my mind now. But yeah, anyway, um, let's head over to music that way where he's best at. So Hornet's Nest is really um, the. I would say, yeah, the follow-up to Flight of the Buzz uh, uh, Buzzard, Buzzard, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, that was released, on, I believe, roughly two years ago. It must be already two years ago, or last year, can't remember. And this time he teamed up with Brian Cross, uh, that he already had a remix, um, like he remixed already one of his tracks um, earlier, and um, I believe it was called Pace and Lightless or something like this. And, uh, yeah, uh, I like it more. It's, yeah, some would say it's very monotonous. Yeah, it is monotonous, um, because I believe the, um, um, the, um, um, the, what I wanted to say, the melody, like, repeats very, itself very quickly, so after every second kick. Um, but, you know, it's... Uh, what, what I like very much about it is that it's really more enjoyable than um, Flat the Buzzard. So this is actually my main uh, main thing that I wanted to say. So who likes her so much? Uh, Gianmarco, thank you so much for joining and Shara uh, is also in. Jared. So Tom Star and Brian Cross with the Hornet's Nest. So let's get it done here. So it's like again another British uh, Spain collaboration. Yeah, very interesting to listen to. Tell me what you think about this. Very monotonous, but I kind of I kind of enjoy it. Reminds me a bit of uh, Oxia Domino, the Sonderling edit that also went like this. So very similar in style. Mm. But I enjoyed the melody and the vibe of um, Sonderling edit of uh, Oxia Domino a bit more. So yeah, and that's, we are now at the 2 minute 30 mark, so we already had like a like 30 second drop and now we're having like um, a 45 seconds drop, which is very nice for a track like this. Um, yeah. So great work here by Tom, uh, very enjoyable. Yeah, so, I mean like, to have an idea like this, you know, to take like Hornets as like a kind of sample or as an idea taken, because I don't know whether this is... Uh, a true recording of Hornets, or whether this is only a uh, like a synth that kind of recreated that, very tough to tell. So, yeah. Let's get on to the second drop. Yeah, it drops out of nowhere, very interesting. So, I wasn't actually prepared. I thought that there was like one snare uh, hit before the drop, but there was, wasn't one. So, I've heard the track like too often yet. Uh, I want actually to do this uh, during uh, like the weekend, but I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't get quite there because there are many, many very enjoyable tracks. So up next, I'm also having another Tom Star track. Um, this time it is a remix. So yeah, but in general, very enjoyable. Tom Star and Brian Cross on this nest. That also like a good ending with uh, um, you know with the baseline just you know taken out there, so yeah, cool idea there. 
Um, yeah, so uh, Tom Starr also uh, remixed uh, his good friend David Guetta. As we know, they are working a lot together, like all over the past couple of, um, I believe, now one or two years. Uh, because Tom is absolutely a fantastic producer, and uh, yeah. And this is his take on uh, the track by uh, David Guetta and Martin Solveig called Think For You. So, yeah, this is the Tom Star remix. So let's see how this sounds. You know, I'm gonna drop the link into the description. Builds up very slowly, but you know, in the matter of Tom Star, you can really hear like the fixes that he's using usually, and the drop is wow, really amazing. Comes really out of nowhere, but it's uh, very rough, dry, very cool to listen to. And also, melody very creative. So yeah, absolutely cool. So yeah, and so far, uh, no lyrics, so this is also very impressive because it's rare nowadays. It's actually a um, track like that, and you don't get you don't get to listen to any or like hear any vocals. It's very rare nowadays, I would say. So yeah, let me know what you think about this one. Also on uh, Facebook, uh, on YouTube, if you're watching. Um, later on. So I believe there's, yeah, there's a vocal now coming in. So at around yeah, 2 minutes 45. And then we're having a breakdown. Yeah. So really, you know, it takes, takes, you know, track to have a bit uh, space, a bit time, a bit brief until he again, you know, builds up the, um, uh, the, the soup for, for the drop. Absolutely cool. Reminds me also of some of his uh, older remixes. So yeah, absolutely huge recommendation. There we get a Mark Solveig thing for you, the Tom Star remix. Also drop the link into the description and um, and in the comments on Facebook, of course. Yeah, that's that. And now we are heading to uh, I believe my most favorite part of tonight. And I hope that some more people will join because it's absolutely fantastic music I'm going to present to you right now. Yeah. And this is actually the end of this Tom Star remix. Yeah, so uh, I want actually to, to write um, in huge letters, Disco is back. It actually was never gone. So this, so also like when people said that if Swedish House Mafia will be back, that they say, oh my goodness, Progressive House is back. It was, was never gone. I'm listening to Progressive House basically constantly, so at least one release every week, so, and it's, it's good music, I really enjoy it. This track I presented to you on my Insta story yesterday already, and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm so in love. So the, uh, there was the only track basically I was listening the whole weekend, so it, was, uh, it came out on, on Friday, and uh, it's called Morning Light, and it's by Norman Doray. This is the Anacost uh, recut, and you can already hear it in the synths, you know, and everything. So Anacost also liked my uh, story on, uh, on Instagram already, so huge shout-outs to him, because it's absolutely fantastic work what he did here. Eric is watching, thank you very much for joining. Great. A Latin community also in tonight. I can't wait for uh, Gossip to Groove Latin American Edition, really. Yeah, and let's um, check this beauty of a track that is Morning Light. It's absolutely wonderful, how they build it up. You can really like feel both nostalgia and kind of, you know, throw back to, I don't know, uh, early 2000s, uh, Daft Punk and all these guys. Not only, of course. Um, but it's so beautiful, like the strings and everything, so... I love the vocal. I don't know whether it's sampled or not, I would have to check that. But I believe it has to, because it's, it sounds so old, kind of refurnished, refurnished a bit. 
this part here. Wow. Hits you right in the feels. What do you think, Eric? Because I, I love it so much. Like, it was my favorite whole weekend long. And also, I like this. It's, it's very slow. It's 121 BPM. And it still sounds like, wow, like a fireworks in my head, really. Such a euphoria. Maybe you don't see it, but you know, after 106 episodes of BZCast, I'm not like 100% enthusiastic about every single drop, you know? Also, when I heard like the tracks like 10 times already. And this one, I really did, because it's those strings. With th this kind of bass line, it's so unique. Um, really, listen to it closely here on... Um, wait, I didn't... Did I drop the, the link already? I believe I did, yeah. My iPad doesn't want to uh, update, I believe. That's why I don't see it. Never mind. You see, that's the most important thing. Norman Doray, Morning Light, on a cost uh, uh, recut. And what's also very interesting about this is the breakdown, because the breakdown is roughly like only 45 seconds long, which is rare in a track like this. So I believe even at, um, um, for example, Thomas Mangardier, so much love to give, uh, white label from 2000, uh, from the year 2000, I believe, 2001, I can't remember, 2002, something like this. Uh, so, 17 years ago, very old track. So he looped like so much love to give like 600 times over the whole track. Um, even there, there was a breakdown longer than here. But you know, it's just updated to 2019, but still has this crispy, I don't know, feeling of a disco house track. Let's try it again. Wow. This is the last track of the set. I can imagine this so well. Beauty, absolutely beautiful track. But let me know what you think about this, because I'm so interested about your opinions. So in love with this one. Wow, so in love, so in love. Anacost, uh, yeah, Norman Ray, Morning Light, the Anacost recut. Great work by the guys. I mean, I love them both. I hope to, that I can see them um, during ADE again. Because I saw them like five years ago. Uh, I believe four years ago, my first um, ADE. And yeah, it's absolutely my heroes. And I believe I have a picture of Anna Cost from back then. So yeah. And I like them even more because they had like already already like tracks on uh, Stamped, labeled by um, uh, Martin Garrix called Travolta. Uh, that was very enjoyable, and also uh, earlier this year, Together, one of my favorites, also very disco-esque, very housey. Um, so yeah, absolutely, hits you right in the feels, all three of them. Um, so yeah, great work by, um, by Norman and Arno here, and yeah, hope, hoping for more. Hope, it would be like a whole album, like 20 tracks of, of like these would be so perfect. Yeah. But speaking of, uh, I have a second disco track that got released this week on uh, Amada Subject. Mm, um, so the producer called both the M and the M, so it's probably a, sh a short for something. And this is the read name mix. And this is also on Spotify, I'll drop the link. Yeah, Thanks for the Love by Orlando here. Orlando. So. And this just also goes like into this uh, kind of um, disco direction. Very enjoyable. Yeah, 6,000 likes, Renee. So definitely support this guy. Did a great mix of this one. DM by DM. So this is also on Spotify. So I'll drop the link. And then I have like five more tracks left. Uh, um, two a bit more, I would say EDM esque, but and then two very cool progressive one. And at the end, a massive trans one <laughs> that I'm also looking forward to <laughs> to show you because I, I will try to recreate my um, my reaction to this one when I heard it when I kind of discovered it yesterday because I'm really have to go through a lot of music and you know I'm, I'm getting you know um, uh, a, bit, a bit bored sometimes because it's usually very often the same and everything and then there comes a drop out of nowhere and you're so very excited about it yeah, MS Watchman as well, thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoyed this one by Ridley. The M by the M. Also here we have this typical kind of disco house strings. Very enjoyable. Yeah, 
here comes the drop. And also we have this these strings here at the back. And I love it's very it's very kinda groovy as well. I take it back. I take it back. So also like it's a, there's even the vocal a bit better used because the vocal fits so well into the groove of the track. Fantastic one, really huge recommendation. The MDM Ridney mix out on Amada Subject. Yeah, I also like you know the guitar in the middle and everything. So the track is everything that you need. Absolutely fantastic. Need to listen to this more often because I haven't heard it that often yet. I believe I found the radio edit somewhere and then I was listening only to radio edits like uh, last uh, last weekend. And I thought now I need to get the extended one. Mm. Of course, bottom beatport by the way for supporting the artist. So Gabby is watching, thank you very much for joining, just in time for this wonderful Disco House one, the MDM, the Ridney mix. Ah, this groove, damn, absolutely fantastic. So really, so the drop begins at 1.45 and it goes basically until 3.30. So absolutely cool, and really take the time to, you know, um, let us feel the groove of the track because very often nowadays I have like tracks that I really enjoy the drop but it's only 30 seconds and then it's over and then here we go we have like for over a minute so which is very very nice so it comes very much into hand to really have like a long last because I believe if you, if a track like this is longer then you also remember it better and then you listen to it more often so you don't actually get like your typical EDM McDonald's this screw my goodness get back Getting very emotional for the first time, I believe, tonight. <laughs> Let me take back. And this guitar, wow. Has everything in there. So, totally unexpected track on the Mother Subject, because usually they do like more this techie vibe, and not as much disco. But if a disco is well made, like in these two cases that I had tonight, we had an uh, Anacost uh, Morning Light, Norman Dore Recut. Uh, um, Sorry, Roman Dore, Morning Light, Anacost Recut. And now we're having the MDM, the Ridney Mix. Great work, Remy. More of this, please. More of this. With, you know, fantastic update of, uh, I believe, the classic as well. So, really brought it up to date. And yeah. Let me know what you think. If you're also into Discord, and if you're not, you want to listen or to hear some, something else, I'm also open for that. Ah, absolutely fantastic track. Happy that you're watching though. Hope that you're enjoying it. Yeah, the MDM Ridney Mix. Great one. Yeah, so what else am I about to play? Yeah, five more tracks. Now we go more into, into EDM, so we're gonna switch in a bit. Um, was a cool uh, disco block here with these two tracks. Um, and now, actually, uh, we're, we're having a good contrast now of what I want to play now because the drop is very nice. I enjoy it um, on this one, but it's only 30 seconds long, um, I believe, except for the outro, it's a bit longer. Um, Beret with Undercover Lies, uh, and this is out on Strange Fruits, so a label that's very um, known for this kind of sound. Let's see if I find him. Oh, I'm not sure whether that's him. Let me, let me just quickly see how... Um, how this guy's called on Facebook. Because he really brought out a very cool track here, a very enjoyable one. The track's called D-Ray and it's Undercover Lies. So I believe this must be him there. Yeah. Must be him here. Because some of my friends like him. We are B-Ray. So there's actually two guys, but there's only one in the picture. So one in, one in the picture. And now let's uh, check out the drop here that goes actually very quickly here. Yeah. So yeah, very creative here. Very enjoyable one. You I want to check the guys because they're really interesting. 3,000 likes, undercover lies. I love the usage of the vocal here. It's only a few words, but very nicely um, used here. Very enjoyable. So be aware of Undercover Lies out on Strange Fruits. The link is coming your way. 
So, more likes here by Matteo, for example. Thank you very much. Call it you're liking, but you're not watching. <laughs> and haven't seen this so often yet. So, yeah. so the vocal is actually very nice. Breakdown, yeah. I believe the vocal is just in a breakdown a bit too loud for my kind of taste. I don't want if the vocal is so present that actually I can't, you know, fix like uh, concentrate on the um, on the instruments next to it. Very nice one here. The uh, drop really uh, has a cool idea with the um, the melody. So I wanted to play it to have also a bit of a contrast where you can see that this kind of music is also cool, but you know. Uh, I enjoy more like this disco kind of um, housey vibe here. They tried to do that, but you know, house with the track that goes only for 3 minutes and 45 seconds, and this is the extended mix. A bit weak, a bit, you know, it could, maybe not weak, but this is maybe the wrong term, but like, you know, um, build, you know, extend it a bit more, like, you know, take, give the ideas a bit more space to breathe, you know, a bit more progressive, add a, you know, um, uh, element here and there. And all that, so yeah, uh, that would uh, I would definitely uh, recommend uh, like in general like this label or like the the guys. So great work, absolutely. But you know, the ideas could could have been you know a bit better. So yeah. Um, prefer in my head, but their um, similarities are very large. So to me, it sounds like a. I just take it as a vocal version of in my head, with a bit, you know, um, change up melody. So I'm interested about the reactions on the on, on the web about this track. Um, I haven't actually had time to check them because you know I. I mean, I enjoy doing research on certain tracks, but sometimes you know, mostly I enjoy it for myself. So. If I kind of have you know this feeling that uh, this reminds me of a track from earlier in the past, and you know I take it as a vocal version, then you know that's fine. I'm fine with it. I'm not criticizing. Wow, this is a copy of in my head, you know. I just taking you know, all the positive aspects of a track. But yeah, of course, mm, some would say you know they kind of doing uh, you know uh, reusing a track almost for another release just a year later. So, I'm sure there's gonna be some criticism as well. But yeah, you know, it's just the style of Fade X, and yeah. That's that. Yeah, Matthias Dimas just joined. Um, I played your track um, uh, as in the alternative mix. Uh, thank you very much for this one, for sending this one. Um, yeah, the track was called Lift, exactly, and this you did together with uh, Kane Sonder. So, definitely watch back later. Thank you very much for sending me this. Always very appreciated. I very enjoyed the mix of kind of tech and um, and deep and um, and prog. So very nicely done. So thank you very much for this for this one. And Matthias watching as well. So yeah, thank you very much for joining. And I have three more tracks left. Two more progressive ones and one uh, banger trance one to finish it off. So 
Yeah, definitely stay tuned for these ones because um, they are going to be also a bit, I believe, um, yeah, freaking out here. So uh, we're going to one of my favorite progressive labels, I believe the number one right now. <laughs> and this, which is Zero Free, Zero Free, as you, some of you may know or may remember, it's a subsidiary of Tour Room. So basically, um, Tour Room, I always love to, to tell this story because it's so interesting. Um, Tour Room used to release Progressive House as well. Um, some, I believe they would go even into a bit EDM. So uh, I believe there were two or three Danic tracks, for example, that were released on Tour Room. Um, which is, you know, very interesting because um, you wouldn't expect this kind of sound on Tour Room. And that's why they made up like a separate uh, label for the, the kind of progressive sound. This is now Zero Free, so the third label basically of Tour Room or the third subsidiary. Um, and uh, yeah, and I believe it, it um, kind of, um, how to say this, like it uh, um, emancipated, like, like or like, kinda, I don't know, like it got more and more independent from, from Tour Room that you can not actually realize it now that this was or used to be a Tour Room subsidiary or is still, because I don't know the, the current state. I would have to ask some, someone from Tour Room, but I actually don't have any connections. So if you have any connections to anyone from Tour Room, all zero free, uh, very appreciated. <laughs> Because usually, you know, they're only about the producers, which is nice, because they also uploaded a, 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 an interview with, with one of the guys from, uh, from Zero Free that has many releases there. And also he told a bit about the history of the track. Yeah, I haven't uh, talked about the, the, the track yet, but we're listening to now in the background. Goom Gum with Inception. And this is an absolutely fantastic both drops. So the first one um, that I'm going to play you now. Yeah, and what I want also to talk to tell about Boom Gum is that they are also known under a different alias that some of you may remember from a couple of years ago called uh, Slider and Magnet. So these guys are from Russia and they have kind of a new um, alias now with a bit more progressive one. And I enjoy this very much and I'll play two tracks of them tonight. This is the first one, Inception, that has a fantastic second drop with a very wicked kind of second layer on it. So and also this part here very nice on the drop. So yeah, absolutely cool one here. Gum Gum Inception Auto Zero Frame. And um, we're having the, these kind of uh, synths there, this on the breakdown. So yeah, this goes like four times and then it builds up into this very unexpected, rough, almost aggressive drop. So check this drop out because it's very fantastic. This sound, this top sound, this makes the drop kind of very aggressive. So totally unexpectedly aggressive. So when I heard this, I was like half banging like, my goodness. So fantastic one here by Gungam, Inception. There's also a second track called Chop on this EP, but I want to play you a different one uh, that was a different release that I also supported on Beatport. Absolutely cool one, Goo Gum with Inception. Wow, fantastic one. Yeah, that's that. And the second track that I want to play you was um, released on the label called um, uh, Disco Hilal. Uh, also very interesting title for... Um, for, for label. The track is called Ananda and uh, yeah also great progressive one um, really one melody you know matches the other great way and the track is actually very long because it goes for seven minutes so you can already hear it like there and yeah it has a bit of this um, um, city that we also know from this kind of groovy house tracks but here in a progressive kind of um, workaround so yeah Side and Magnet, uh, great work, I would say. <laughs> um, yeah, they used to be called Slider Magnet. I mean, they're still uh, called like this, but maybe having less or other releases. So yeah, but still very nice, very enjoyable. <laughs> oh. Very cool one. Yeah, it just takes you on a journey, it takes you on this fantastic mesmerizing you know journey that progressive houses and 
you know, for me, it's been always like that. So when I was listening to the kind of first tracks um, by Avicii, like the, the early, early ones, the, like from 2009, 2010, um, before Bromance, for example, it was I believe his first larger club hit. Um, yeah, I could, you know, we could instantly like feel, you know, the and you know, from that kind of perspective, when we like take like the older progressive house tracks and the newer ones, so within the, like those two, ten years, it, there, there was not much change. So actually, um, it it has like very like many like um, like directions. Progressive house can go, um, but I enjoy this one that more, more like it adds more like kind of elements to it. Can both be like more electro and more melodic. But I believe yeah, um, zero free and now Gungam are doing it. I believe the best. So and of course Eric Fritz, Eric Fritz is like the god of progressive. But you know, that's like he's making kind of his own story. Yeah, but he sold out all three shows in New York for Holo. Um, so huge congrats. And of course he can't do something like this in Austria. No? Or in continental Europe. Hmm. It has to be festivals. I remember I wanted to go by, by plane to um, to Epic 4.0 back a couple of years ago, but it was too expensive. Like the flight, 700 euros, something like this. No, no way. Yeah. But that, imagine, like, that we really wanted to do that now, today. It's not worth it. I mean, the question is, like, like, money is not the issue, but like, I don't know, like the, the, the effort, I don't know, different one. Yeah, that's Gunga Mutananda, so stop, stop talking about Eric now, I mean, Eric is fantastic, but you know, still. And I'm heading now um, to, to the last track of tonight, um, that is a bit different, um, of course, there are many, many more tracks I wanted to play, and I don't know, they just didn't make it as much, like, those are really my favorites um, of this week. Uh, which is, I believe it's even, is it 138? I believe so. The track is called Hype and it's by uh, Kioi, uh, Eki, and uh, E-L-Y. It's 1.30 BPM, so it's a fantastic ending uh, with a great cool drop at the, at the end. So usually, you know, trance has uh, sometimes a problem that, um, that, you know, it sounds the same and all that. But, you know, sometimes you can really, like, change things up there. Oh my goodness, it's very tough to say. Actually, to be honest, I won't tag anybody because I don't want to tag anyone wrong. Um, because they have also very short names and because it's only of three letters. Elf, for example, there um, is uh, my, um, like one, one recommendation is Elvis Presley, which of course is not the case here. <laughs> so I just leave it here at the Spotify link. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and hope that you, <laughs> and um, yeah. I just received a fantastic, um, um, fantastic um, yeah, um, message on WhatsApp, and <laughs> that's why I'm laughing. But also laughing on, on this uh, on this track here, the background. This this um, drop is not as fascinating, I would say, but the next one is. It really got me like oh, very dirty. The track is called Hype, as we mentioned by Kioi, Aki, and L uh, e uh, ELV. So I believe there are two people in, so let me know what you think about this one. This is a bit different. Yeah, so this uh, drop maybe is not as fascinating. Also the mix down, I would say, could be better. Yeah, so these are like very typical kind of... I mean, uh, uh, like, uh, you know, synthy, like up, uh, uplifting, you know, uh, so, uh, like uh, super sauce, they're called. Uh, all the big room is very much about this. Um, some people say that they're really outdated um, and they all sound the same. But uh, yeah, I wanted to do it, finish it off with something a bit different and the drop really got me there. So yeah, hope that I can kind of recreate kind of uh, the reaction right now because I was really listening to, to many, many tracks and that I find around the internet. And yeah, then actually, um, actually I was skipping actually to, to the drop, but I actually don't want to do this now because it would kind of ruin it. And then, yeah, let's listen to this drop. Hope I can still manage it in time here over on Instagram. Uh, for now, buy them. <laughs> and there we go. Yes! <laughs> so, really, out of nowhere, this kind of drop, and I was like, wow! Very rough, very cool. 
would love to listen to this like in a set. Yeah, uh, maybe some of you don't know because I've seen, for example, Nifra X Fisherman at um, the what's it called the um, the Edimania festival in Slovakia because in Slovakia they really have a huge trend scene. Uh, many many friends uh, producers are coming there regularly, and also they have like friends DJs. So uh, in Austria that's not the case because I believe a friend of mine once knew a um, trans DJ from Austria. And he said, like, like, like there are around 50 people listening to trance in uh, in Austria. That's why in Austria there was never an event like uh, a state of trance, because there's simply no market for trance whatsoever, and, and no like future sound of Egypt or whatever. In Poland, for example, there's a larger scene. Yeah. So in Poland, I believe I was there at uh, Future Sound of Egypt 250, um, which was the day before Kreider and Eric Fritz at the same day. So and the entrance was for free. So uh, it was very nice, and so Ali and Fila played a very long set there, like two or three hours. Because Ali and Fila are the um, are the um, like owners of uh, Future Sound of Egypt, and um, I believe the most famous Polish um, friend is a Matt Bukowski. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. Um, it was a bit of a different ending, I would say, but I hope that you still enjoyed it. This roughly an hour, but we have now enough time to head over to Criteria in around ten minutes. And uh, yeah, and uh, enjoy to get our criteria uh, 203, I believe it's this week. Yeah, 203, and yeah, hope to hear some great unreleased music, some froggy and techy and, uh, and groovy bangers there. So, hope to see you there in 10 minutes, and yeah, I hope everybody who's watching on YouTube as well that you're having, uh, did you have a great time tonight with my busy cast? And yeah, hope to see you uh, on the next one, and let's see what the market will give me over the next week. So see you then, and bye.